My name is Zhivko Sinopov and this summer I was on Internet Willow Garage and in my project I explored how the PR2 can recognize whether an object is full or not. And this is particularly important because vision and 3D laser scan data cannot tell whether a bottle is full or empty and the robot sometimes needs to know that. To solve the problem, I use the proprioceptive sensory modality, which can inform the robot of the joint efforts that it feels as it manipulates an object. The approach that I chose was a data-driven approach in which I let the robot experience what a full and what an empty object feel like. And once the robot had that experience, it could use it to classify novel bottles as either full or empty. After the robot learned the model, I developed a sorting application task in which the robot was tasked to uh, sort bottles based on whether they're full or empty. The robot picks objects from one side of the table and moves them to the other if they're full or puts them in the trash can if they're empty. In this demo, the robot used the currently existing grasping pipeline to grasp the object and lift it in space. And once the robot had done that, it could measure the efforts that it was experiencing and use those efforts to decide whether the object is full or empty. Uh, if the object was empty, the robot placed it in the trash can, and if it was full, it moved it to the other side of the table. And after a series of tests, we found that the robot was able to solve the problem with 100% success rates, which shows that proprioceptive input can be very important in terms of detecting properties of objects which cannot be inferred through vision. For future work, I plan to extend this model to other types of tasks. For example, if there's a box that may be full or may be empty, the robot can perhaps push it or slide it on the table very gently to find out if it's, uh, what its internal state is. Also, I've been working with auditory feature processing to detect whether an object is full or empty based on how it sounds like when it's uh, grasped or when it's hit, when it hits the table. And finally, I want to integrate those two sensory modalities so that the robot has a multimodal representation of the objects rather than just rely on a single sensory modality.